how do you do? I'm Karen Adamski with ShamaMama.com and today I'm coming to you with a super easy and free lesson. And today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to paint jellyfish. Now in this lesson we're going to put down our base paint, our base color in acrylic paint. I'm going to be using different um, tones of blues and then we're going to paint our jellyfish with spray paint. And what I love the most about this lesson is the spray painting part, the part where we create the jellyfish. You have a little bit of control, but not a lot. So um, it's a really great exercise in giving up control to the creative process, which really um, brings more beauty into your art. All right, let's get started and I'll show you just how easy this is. The goal for our first layer of paint is to simply put down some blue. In this, I've used a little bit of teal and white and ultramarine blue and just kind of swirled it around. My thought when I did this was to have some darker water down at the bottom and some lighter water. You can kind of see some sun rays coming through here. Uh, that was what I was thinking. And this is going to be the base where we put down our jellyfish. So. Uh, in this lesson, you're welcome to use any size or shape of canvas. I'm going to paint on this one, just as an example. And this is actually, you can see I've painted over another painting. So we're gonna be putting some blue down on here. I'm also going to put some blue down on this chunky little square canvas because these are just so cute with the jellyfish on them. I love putting the jellyfish on these little chunky canvases. So any size, any shape, grab what you've got and let's get started. Okay, so on my palette today, I'm using ultramarine blue, thalia blue, aqua, and white. And this is a really nice color combination. And when we start blending these, they make a nice water background. So I'm gonna start with the ultramarine. We're just going to basically cover this whole canvas with blue. And I encourage you to try mixing little bits of white with the different colors as you go so that it's not just flat. We want to have a little bit of a mix of colors that are nicely blended together uh, because that's going to make our eye feel satisfied when we, when we see that water behind our jellyfish. So this is a really fun exercise and just playing with color, spreading color. And knowing that most of this is going to get covered up with a jellyfish, so just have fun. Don't give it a worry. with these colors and spreading them, covering this canvas, I'm intentionally giving thought to the ocean and giving thought to the jellyfish as well and what, what they mean, how they make me feel. I feel happy when I see jellyfish. They bring in a lot of flexibility, a lot of movement.
this is a nice deep blue background and that's all that we need to put down. That's it. The next step on this one is our jellyfish. But before we do that, I'm going to bring in that other chunky canvas. And there's a reason for doing both of these at the same time. Um, number one is I want to go out and do the spray painting only once. So I want to spray paint them at the same time. And number two is um, using the same palette for both canvases uh, will look really nice if I do decide to place these two canvases in the same area. Uh, that's going to also make our, our eye really happy because um, they'll see the same color palettes in two different items. So not that big of a deal in terms of when you, you know, put your background colors down. You don't have to do a number of um, canvases together, but if you have wet paint, on your palette, you know, you might as well use it, right? Okay, I've got my spray paints and we're gonna get started with our jellyfish. So now that our canvas is dry, we're going to spray paint our jellyfish on top. So today I'm going to be using white. You always want to have white for sure. That's the key ingredient. I think any of the other colors really work well as long as they're not contrasting because we don't want to have many colors. So I'm going to be using kind of neighboring colors today. Pink, purple, and blue. They go nicely together. They're not going to muddy up when I spray them together. And then this uh, white is kind of the seasoning for all of them. So for example, if you are at home and you have um, orange and blue, these are somewhat contrasting colors. So when we put these together, they're going to make a very muddy color. We want to be using tertiary colors, meaning neighboring colors, colors that kind of butt up to each other and live next door to one another. Those are the colors that are gonna make our bright, poppy jellyfish. All right, so besides your spray paint, the other thing that you're going to need is something to lean your canvas up against. I'm just going to use my, my little box here of spray paints, and then I can go ahead and lean my canvas up against that. So having something to lean your canvas against is really important to have on hand before you start painting, as well as a drop cloth, because this gets a little bit messy. And when we're using spray paints, of course, you always want to be outdoors. And if you're younger than 18 years old, make sure that you have some adult supervision, okay? All right, so let's get started. Make sure that you get all of your paints nice and shaken up before you start. Make sure the tops are off because this is going to be a fairly quick process. So we want to have everything right on hand. All right, let's get spraying. So like I said, this is a pretty quick process. So let's start spraying here. We're going to put two to three layers down in the shape of kind of a horseshoe like that. Okay, let's put one over here. It's purple. And put some white in there, right on top. And then pink in that one, a little blue in this one. Maybe a little blob of white. And check out all of these really neat things that are happening here. You see that? That's the oil and the spray paint. So now what we want to do is lift this up and once you position it so that it's leaning against something you want to just leave it there give it enough um, steepness here I guess uh, to make these drips go down okay so you can see they're slowly dripping it's 
So those are two jellyfish right there. And we're gonna make more. We wanna give these guys just a chance to get tacky and dry, but look at them floating in the ocean right there. So while these guys are drying, let's go ahead and start with that chunky little canvas we have. All right, here's our chunky guy. What I like to do on these is just make sure that I am using the whole, um, kind of going at a little bit of an angle and using the, the whole uh, canvas, I think is, is nice to do with these ones. And you can see how there's a lot of movement in there. I don't want to mess that up too much. I want this to get a little bit more tacky before I let it run. I put a little bit too much paint on here. But when you see that paint pooling up, just practice patience. Let it pool naturally. See how it's doing its thing with the oil? And within a minute or so, It'll be tacky enough that we can go ahead and let this guy grow his little legs without being too runny. Alright, so I'm going to just set this guy aside. That's great. And we have these little chunky monkeys here, these little canvases, because they stand up on their own. We're going to let him dry. And he's probably finished. We might put another layer on if I want to put some more legs on him, but um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what he looks like when he's done. I've got that other canvas as well. Let's do a few more. jellyfish on top so we're gonna get lots of light So it's as easy as that. Just a few little layers of spray paint. And once you get to a point where you're thinking, okay, that looks nice and balanced, then we're finished. 
I think this will be the last little guy on this one for me. I like that. So what you see here is a lot of movement in the water. You can see the tentacles moving, the legs floating around. Each one's a little bit different, but very, very, very flowy and fun to look at. These are turning out really great. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And look at this little guy. How cute is that? You could do this easily in under 20 minutes as a fun craft. Just one little happy jellyfish. Or you can have layers of jellyfish, which is usually how we see them. They like to stick together. So you could do a landscape painting, or you could do a portrait painting. That's up to you because you're the artist. Now we could stop here uh, and consider this done. I would be very, very happy with this. But if you want to continue on further with one more fun layer, stick with me. Once this is fully dry, we're going to put on some transparent bubbles. Super fun.